Hello, welcome to our semiconductor education program. I'm Vincent Chan. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to solve an active load differential amplifier. Active load differential amplifier, part one. So we are going to focus on how to calculate the small signal voltage gain within this lecture. As you may know, compared to passive load differential amplifier, Active load counterpart has a more is more favorable for integrated circuit design, so it's important for analog IC design. Here's the circuit BJT differential amplifier with active load. On the bottom, it's a differential pair. On the top, it's a current mirror. So MPN transistor Q1 and Q2 serve a differential pair. And PMP to PMP transistor on the top function a current mirror. Let's try the analysis by inspection to solve this circuit. So first step, you should be very familiar with this. So the first step, total emitter, total get the total emitter resistance, 2RE, and then apply Ohm's law, and get the AC current starting from 9 o'clock, and then to pass 6 to 3 o'clock. The first step, VD over 2RE. So I encourage you to pause and take note. This is the first step, the first step, step one, IE. And then, what? Then goes up the green current from emitter to collector multiplied by alpha. So alpha IE. And next, three, the alpha IE. Going counterclockwise from emitter to collector times alpha. And then what? And then what? Then you see the current mirror. Then the three number three current touches the current mirror. So it's the mirror. It's the current reproduction. So therefore, the alpha IE, the number three current, once touch the current mirror, it will generate another, because it's the mirror. It's the mirror. Reproduction current on the right-hand side. So number four. So three to four is totally because of the current mirror, current reproduction. Then you have two from the bottom and four from the top. And they meet at the purple node, the purple output node. So green plus so two plus four equals number five. So number five, Based on the KCL, is the double of alpha IE. If you replace IE with VD, maybe maybe you, you need to take note on this. I didn't just uh, explain it in detail, but you can see VD replace IE with VD over two RE. Then two got canceled. Alpha divided by RE equals GM. Therefore, the output current is GM VD. Transconductance, what transconductance? It's the transconductance of the MPN transistor, of the driver. Differential input, small signal differential input. And you see a purple line at the output. Equivalent circuit at the output. It's an active load. So I strongly encourage you take this finesse, the trick. Norton equivalent is very similar I, uh, with other integrated circuit, active low integrated circuit amplifier. Norton equivalent. Purple corresponding to purple. Purple node corresponds to the purple node. Norton, what, what does that mean by Norton? A current source in parallel with an output resistance. A current source. So you can simply copy and paste. Copy 
the number five current and pays on the right, GMRD. Pay attention to the direction. Pay attention to where it's flowing into the output terminal. Flowing into the VO is this direction. Is this direction, right? So it's this direction. And then in parallel with an output resistance. Voltage control current source in parallel with an green output resistance. Therefore, the small signal voltage gain or open circuit. Open circuit means we didn't connect any, uh, there is no external load connected to this amplifier. So open circuit differential gain, so single ended out, differential in. Single ended output, differential input. Based on Ohm's law, VO equals GMID times R out. GM, sorry, GMVD times R out. Single ended out divided by differential input. The transconductance times output resistance. So what is the output resistance? If you're looking from the output terminal, the answer is the output resistance of the individual transistor R2 in parallel with the R4. The final answer is differential gain equals transconductance times the parallel combination of the two output resistance of the individual transistor one MPN, the other P, and P. If the two output resistance are the same, if we assume the two output resistance are the same, R2 equals R4, and then we can simplify this expression and in terms of the early voltage divided by thermal voltage. So you can put down this on your note. If early voltage, typical value for early voltage is 100 volt. And thermal voltage is 0.025 volt at the room temperature. The early voltage di divided by thermal voltage, the typical value of this is 4,000 divided by two. So the typical value of this kind of BJT differential amplifier can be high, can, can, can be very high as around 2,000. BJT differential amplifier with active load. Differential pair and current mirror. Let's try to see its counterpart on CMOS side, BJT versus CMOS. So now MPN, let's convert the MPN to MOS. And PMP current mirror to PMOS current mirror on the top. So now look at the right. So MOS as a differential pair, PMOS current mirror as an active load. CMOS active load differential amplifier. So how to solve this? It's very similar, right? Source perspective. Total source resistance 2 over GM. Almost law. VD divided by 2 over GM, you get the number 1 current. So 1, you can practice by yourself. 2, IS. 3, IS. Touch the mirror. 4, IS. Number 5, 2, IS. Go into the output. Because 2, in the denominator, there's the 2 over GM. So the output current is GM times VD. Output current is GM times VD. So if I'm going too fast, then you can go back and pause. So let's just move on to the next slide, right? GM VD, GM VD, GM VD. The current flowing to the output resistance are out. So the final answer is GM times the output resistance. If R2 and R1, four happen to be the same. We can simplify this as half GM times the output resistance of mass transistor, but you have to pay attention. 
the way to calculate the upper resistance for bipolar and MOS is kind of different. So here's the takeaway. Analysis by inspection. Five steps. One, two, three. Brown, green, blue. Here's number one. Number two, three, and touch the mirror. A three to four is called a mirror, alpha IE. And then two plus four equals five. Two alpha IE equals GM times VD. Five current, one, two, three, four, five. Then what? Norton equivalent. The second takeaway, Norton equivalent. We can consolidate the AC in analysis into two components from the output, from the output, looking from the output. Number one is the voltage control current source. It's the number five current. And then in parallel with the output resistance of the amplifier, which is the parallel combination between R2 and R4. So we have come to the end of this lecture video. I hope you, I hope you learned something this time. So in the next lecture video, I'm going to go deeper to explain why the output resistance is the parallel combination of the two individual resistance. Thanks for watching.